Look who's here, Philip. Two visits in such a short amount of time. What did I do to deserve such attention? Yes, Philip. This is above and beyond the call of family bonding. Of course, we Spaldings have always been known for our generosity. Caitlin! Right. Caitlin, there's somebody I want you to meet. Stay right yes, there. I, I thought, didn't you have to go home and, and make a, a call about something? Uh, this week has been so oh, intense. I know, sweetie. It's just... Harlan was our rock, and it's hard to believe he's gone. <laughs> yeah, it was nice having everybody up at Cross Creek, though. I think yes. he would have liked that. And everybody will be together again, I'm sure of that, including your sister. Yeah, well, I just hope Jenna brings us some good news. But as far as my sister, wherever she is, I hope she's as lucky as I am to have found a man like Joshua Lewis. I would love to go to dinner with you. Now look, you, you really don't have to go if you don't want to. Billy, I said I would really like to go, and I really would. Mm. Her. Hey, Billy. Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just uh, I left the projections on Wanda's desk. All right, we'll, we'll come on in. We'll find her. Damn, Jacob doesn't know anything about me. He's so smug and arrogant. Just... I'm sorry. Diane, are you talking to me? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just venting. Yeah, well, I've been there myself. Yeah. What can I get you? Uh, the phone would be great. There you go. Well, you just hold on, and uh, I'll clear my desk, and as soon as I do, we'll head out. Here you go. Thanks. Sure. Well, congratulations. You bagged yourself a date with the boss, huh? Billy Lewis's office. This is Cassie Lane. Can I help you? I would like to speak to Hart Jessup, please, if he's still there. It's your fiance. Hey there. Hi, Jay. I was, um... Hi. Really sorry to hear about your dad. HB was good people. Yes, he was. Thank you for saying so, Jay. I appreciate it. So, what can I get you guys? Um, actually, I don't think we're quite ready to order just yet. Um, we got are a little preoccupied. If you give us a couple minutes. Oh, <clears throat> take your time. Take your time. Where's, uh, where's Nola? <laughs> She's at the movies. At the movies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. She sees every picture that comes out, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. I think I'm gonna have to start docking her pay, too. Oh, now, wait. Just <laughs> wait right there a minute. You watch it, because we moms stick together. Yes, they do. She's proved that to me time and again. I'd, I'd listen to her if I were, <sighs> if I were you. All right, we'll be here. You guys take your time. I'll review. Be right back. Jenna, come on! Uh, I'll be right there. I'm just getting Coop's bunny rabbit. Wish we couldn't take a walk without Buzz the bunny, could we? What's it doing over here? Okay, that's a bit strange. I know I left it on that table. What's going on over here? Go down to the Gruskins, okay? No. Call Frank on the phone at the station no. house. Tell him to get no. here as soon as possible. I am yes. not leaving you. You're coming with me. Don't let the police handle I'm this. I'm going to be just fine. Nobody comes in my house and scares my family, gets away with it. I'll be fine. I just am do not I leaving you in here with this lunatic. Wasting time. Don't do this. This is no time to be a hero. I'm not going to be a hero. I'm just going to hold the fort till the cavalry gets here, but they won't let you call them up. Come on, please. We're going to go. Uh. Go, 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 go.
okay. We're alone. You want me? Come get me. I'll be home soon. I'm glad you tracked me down. I miss you. Yeah. I don't know. We'll grab a bite to eat and then uh, use your imagination. Okay. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. What? I didn't say anything. I figured you'd take a jab at Dinah. Well, you know what? I really could care less. Good. But I would appreciate you keeping your snide remarks to yourself about me and Billy. Snide remarks? All I said was congratulations on bagging a date with the boss. I meant it. Well, you obviously don't approve. I really don't care. Good. Just tell Billy I said goodbye. No problem. Are you ready? Yes. I'm very ready. You know, um, we don't have to go over to company. We could always go out and have some Chinese or some Italian food. No, I really, really would love a cheeseburger. Ah, uh, let's see. Medium rare, whole the onions, mustard instead of ketchup. How do you know? <laughs> Just a lucky guess. No, really, how do you know? Mm, guess, I guess. It, it's, it's the way Reva likes them. Well, the woman after my own heart. You like her in a lot of ways. How is that? Well, I think because you're a person who basically likes to have fun. Oh, Caitlin. Caitlin, hold on. There's somebody that I want you to meet. No, 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 I can't. I yes. can't. It's, I know you're a little shy, but I want you to meet Alan, finally. I can't, I can't. You don't understand. Why can't you? Because I have to go to therapy. I have to get dressed before I go to therapy. I... You sure? Mm -hmm. You don't want to meet him? Not right now. Positive. Okay, go to therapy. Yeah. See you later, Rumi. Okay. You're missing out. Alan and Philip in the same room. I'd be dead if they saw me. Hey. So, Philip, uh, I thought you had some business to take care of at Spaulding. Um, I thought you were heading home. Well, I am, but I've arranged to have dinner each evening with Annie. Oh, well, mm -hmm. that's, that's very thoughtful. Yes. Well, now that we've covered while I'm here, what about you? Um, well, you know, I, um, after we had lunch today, mm -hmm. I, I just started thinking about Annie. Started thinking about me? Why? I, I did. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I just, I felt like you and I used to be pretty close friends. Well, I thought we uh -huh. took care of all that on your last visit. Well, no, we did. Uh, we did. Well, we started to, but you know, we, we, we got cut short when your doctor came in, and I, I, I. I, I just, I don't know. I want you to know what, Philip, do you want Annie to know? I, I really want the best for you. I, I really do. And if, if there's anything at all that you need... Thank you. Thank you. really appreciate that. I do. Your father is making sure that I'm as comfortable as I can be, getting my living situation here. Alan's really been wonderful, Philip. Just knowing that you care, too, it's uh, very special. You know, I am realizing being in here how lucky I am to have people who care about me. There are a lot of people here who don't have anybody. Like my roommate, Caitlin, you met her. I mean, her sister dumped her in here because she lost a baby and she got really depressed. I kind of relate to that. I like her in a weird kind of way. It's not like we're best friends or anything, but maybe, maybe when I get out of here, I'd like to help her. <laughs> Philip, you've met this... Caitlin girl? Yeah, I met her the last time that I was here with Annie. Oh, really? She read my poem. Oh, <laughs> charming. Well, so she's a woman of esoteric talent. Then, yeah. huh? <laughs> she's uh, way out there. Just a couple minutes ago, she did a striptease oh. for me. This place went crazy, more than normal. She did a striptease? <laughs> yeah. That must have been interesting. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, well, listen, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I know that this is a regular thing. You have your dinner, and I don't want to intrude on that. Um, but, Annie, I, I just wanted to tell you that, and, and if it's okay, I, I would like to come back and see you again. Philip, before you go, I just want to say, you know, you've always been straightforward with me and honest, and I, um, I want to thank you for that. Sure. <laughs> I'll see you. Dad. Give it up, son. Your plan's not gonna work.
My darling child, if you are reading this, then I'm not there with you. I can't bear even thinking about this, but it's important. You deserve some explanations, and I'm the one to give them to you. They should come from me. They should come from your mother. I'm sure you'll want to know how I could have done it. How I could have carried you, given birth to you, only to leave you and your father. It was a difficult choice, my darling, but I made it with a full heart and a clear conscience. You see, I've been ill. Your father will explain. He's angry at me now because he thinks I'm throwing my life away, but... but he will understand, as I hope you will, too. just a letter of love, a letter to tell you how much you were wanted, and how much I watch over you still. The love your father and I shared, and will share always, is embodied in you. No matter where you go, whatever you do, that love will be with you. If you're afraid, or if you're filled with joy, Whatever it is, your father will help you and guide you. And I will too. I will be there. I will be at your side, always. If you have any doubt of this, ask your father. He knows, more than anyone in the world, that love transcends all time and all space. That is our gift to you. It is what we three share. I love you both forever. Your mother. Go up at WSPR? No. No? Mm -mm. The, they called you, network called you, they want you for 60 minutes. No, no. Wrong no? again. Well, whatever it is, I hope you have a lot more of it. Nothing happened. I'm just happy, very happy to see my man. Is there anything wrong with that? Oh, not at all. Hey, Hart. Hey, how are you doing? I don't believe it. Are we Cassie Lane magnets or something? You want to go somewhere else? No, of course not. Well, 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 what did I tell you? She struck gold with Billy Lewis. I he's not gonna know what hit him. Well, look, there's Billy and Cassie standing over there. What do you think they're doing here, huh? Should, uh, I'll tell you what, why don't I invite them? That sounds right like a back. plan. <sighs> Hello? Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Good. Uh, we haven't uh, started yet. We just got here. Why don't you join us? We'll make it uh, sort of a double date. How would that be? Uh, yeah, great. Um, yeah, why don't you go on over and say hi to Reeve and let me just say something to my little brother, okay? Sure. Okay. Okay. Is there some problem? This is not in any way a date. I don't want to hear another word about it. Take that back. I'm not angry. Come on. You sent me flowers. I want to say thank you to you. So come on out so I can see it properly. Huh? Oh, and the cookies. I forgot the cookies. The cookies. I was almost afraid to eat them, you know, with all the stuff that happens around Halloween, you know? But I thought, who'd send me flowers and then try to poison me? Huh? Patience, 
Jones here. Look, you're scaring my family. This has got to stop. Come out. Let me see you. Tell me what you're up to, all right? Guiding light in a moment. Is it? Is it all right? Yeah, it's all right. It's gone. Damn. No, Bud, don't go back there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't worry, little fella. We are gonna get the ninny beast. We scared you and your mom. That's the last thing I do. Well, that's Ooh, right. You tell them boo. You know, for some reason that escapes me at the moment, you, you seem to think that Annie and I are up to something. I didn't say that. No, you didn't have to say it. But you can pray on her sentiment all you want, son, but this righteous concern for an old friend wait is not going to wash. No, Alan, wait a minute. Philip and I, we are friends, right? Annie, if you believe that, I also have a bridge I want to sell. You know, I hate to tell you this, but my son, ever since he was a small boy, loved playing the White Knight. But I'm sorry to say that he is not here to rescue you in any way. Is that true? Annie, I have always tried to be a good friend to you. Better than you know. Well, then why don't you tell her about your old friend, Harley Cooper, the one who's been hired to investigate us? You know what, Dan? <laughs> you have all the answers. Why don't you tell her? I'll see you, Annie. I... I don't... I don't know what to think anymore. Uh, Ellen, you don't understand. Philip and I, we were really close up at Ed Bauer's cabin. He really, he helped me out. If it wasn't for your son, I wouldn't be alive today. Annie, Annie, I, I know that. And I don't mean to sound blunt, but I'm going to tell you something. The only person in this town who has your best interest at heart is me. Now, Philip was only here to do a little fishing expedition. What is he looking for? He wants to get information so he can take back to Harley. Now, you didn't tell him anything the other day when he visited. No, do you he... think I'm an idiot? And I'm not the horrible judge of character that you might seem to think I am, Alan. If you don't have faith in me, if you don't believe in me, then hell, why don't you just get the hell out of here, Alan? Annie? Here I didn't you? bring him here. Are you is he suspicious? Did he say something? Shh. I didn't bring him here. He followed me. He followed you? Yes, he followed me, and he is suspicious. He knows we're up to something, and he warned Annie to be careful. This was a stupid idea. Yeah? Which one in particular? You being here, me helping you, you hey, pick your pick. I feel like you can leave. I can handle this on my own. Oh, I can see how well you're handling it. Tell me, what would you have done if my father had turned around and seen you? Well, he didn't. Well, he's going to. He's here all the time. You're gonna do a little strip tease for him? Why'd you find out about yeah. that? Yeah. She told me. You, I just... I was asking her a lot of questions about strippers, and she got suspicious, so I had to tell her that I was one. Uh, I'd have paid to see that. <laughs> How much did you take off? Well, enough that by the time I got to my little black bra, all the other girls had taken off their clothes, too. <laughs> 
So what happened with Ellen? You found oh. out. The whole reason I'm here, I found out that the strip club where Reba's sister works is probably in Chicago. Chicago? Yeah. How do you know this? Because that's where Ellen and Annie went on their little trip. That's brilliant. That is perfect. That gives Jen and I a place to start. So? Well, you're not half bad at this detective stuff, you know? Yeah, thanks. Anything else? Yeah, what? a name. I got a name. Uh, of a woman. Uh, Rhoda or Rhonda. Alan wasn't certain. Uh, some, some woman <gasps> that Annie was either going to see uh, or somebody that she already knew. This is perfect. Why didn't you just tell me this when you came in in the beginning? Well, if you would shut up for a couple of seconds, maybe I would have. Can we get the hell out of here now? No, I can't. Why not? Because I have maybe a name and a city. I need more information than that. Well, you're not gonna get it from her. She's already suspicious, and me showing up here again has made her more suspicious. Well, I can fix this. You know what? You don't know what you're playing around with. You have no idea what this woman is capable of. No, I don't, but I, I have developed a relationship with You've her, developed and a I can talk Oh, you know to what? Her. I can see it. You think, you actually believe that the great Harley Cooper is going to be able to get her to open up and spill the beans about everything, don't you? Don't you? Yeah. I thought with a couple of days, I might be able to get <laughs> well, that. Well, you yeah. know what? You've been in here too long. Time to get you out of the loon. That's it. You are out of here now. I am not going anywhere with you. I'm glad you came back. You gotta know with all we've been through that I would always come back. I'll never leave you, Vanessa. I know that. It's just that uh, I want to have this baby and you don't want me to. It's real important for me to explain to you that under almost any other circumstance, you having this baby would be the most wonderful news that I could possibly imagine. I've, I've dreamed of us having a child together. If things were normal and, and you were 100% healthy, then I would never, I would never even think about ending this pregnancy. But things are not normal, Vanessa, and I'm not going to lose you again. I talked to Rick. We know what Rick and Michael feel. They told us. Well, all right, Rick and Michael are medical professionals. They don't deal in feelings. They deal in the facts. And the facts are that this pregnancy is just too risky for you. We know what they said. We know. We talked about it. We've talked about it. And after I talked to Rick, I, I went out and I talked to God. What did he tell you? I went out to the beach and, uh, and I asked him to just help us out, to help us to know what to do about the baby. And, you know, he didn't... He didn't need to answer me because I know from the bottom of my soul that I have to do the right thing. And that is choose life. But that's what I want. I mean, that's... That's what I want. I, I want to have the baby. No, no, no. Having the baby is not choosing life. That's a death sentence, Vanessa. And I can't just stand back and let you do that. What are you saying? I'm saying I can't allow that to happen. You can't allow it to happen? And, and neither will Dinah and Bill when they find out, Vanessa. Look, I'm not going to lose my wife, and they're not going to lose their mother, who fought too hard to get you back. Could the girl be any less subtle? I mean, she waltzes in here, uh, right on the arm of Billy Lewis in front of everybody. Dinah. I mean, we can give Billy a little bit more credit. You know, she's so obvious. It's sickening. You don't know that they're on a date. Are you kidding me? Hart, come on. What, what do you think it is? You know what? I think I want to stop talking about it. What did we talk about before Cassie Lane got to town? Huh? I got an idea. Why don't we get out of here? No, 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 no. Don't be ridiculous. We ordered our food. It's fine. You know what? You don't have to twist my arm. We're going to change the subject. Change the subject. So. So. 
So, um, I just saw the final piece on Marcus and Dahlia, and it looks great. I mean, they've been rehearsing day and night with this record deal. Yeah, that's great. Um, he needs a break, that kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I hear uh, Marcus and Cassie are going to be singing a duet. Huh? Hmm? Never mind. You know, Hart, if you want to change the subject, you should stop staring at it. I don't know, I just forget sometimes. The kids and I will be laughing about something that their granddaddy did or said, and then I'll remember that he's gone. It's been really hard on you, hasn't it? It's been hard on me, but I think it's really been hardest on Billy and Josh. I mean, Billy especially. It's nice to see that he's out tonight. Oh. W with, you know, this was... Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever it was, it's fine with me. I mean, I love the guy, and if spending time with you eases his grief, then that is fine by me. Oh, like I said, the window was wide open. That's how this weirdo escaped. I and mean, what, what are we talking about here? Spider-Man? That's, that's cute, Dad. About as cute as you going after that stalker all by yourself. You know, that's why we have the 911 number, you know? Come on, Frank, nothing was going to happen. You don't know that. Now, look, I have dropped Coop off with Mrs. Popoff, but I, until we get this all straightened out, I would feel much better if he stayed with you, Frank, you and Eleni, or Mrs. Popoff, till we get... No, 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 absolutely, she he can stay with My us. own yeah. child is being driven out of his home. After everything that's happened here tonight, I don't want him anywhere near this place. Oh, come on. Well, now, look, I know you feel violated because somebody broke in here, but you know, it's... Don't uh, try to pacify me on this. You have no idea how dangerous this person is or if they were armed. What, with cookies, flowers, and a picture Buzz. frame? Come on! Yeah, Jenna's right. Okay, don't you think breaking and entering is a step beyond flowers and cookies? Come on. Yeah. Hey, uh, Andrews, do me a favor. Um, dust this door now, will ya? See if we can lift some prints off it like we did on the window here. Hopefully they'll, they'll match. Whoever was hiding in this closet may have uh, bolted out that window when the lights went off. Frank, I don't care about the rest of this stuff. I just want you to find this weirdo and stop them, okay? She's scared and I'm getting ticked off. Frank, what are you, are you praying? Andrews, do me a favor, bring me an evidence bag, please. Frank, did you find something? You bet I did. You know, maybe you're right about Cassie after all, but I gotta tell you, I feel bad for Billy, you know? He's been through a lot, that's all. Besides, why would I look at somebody else when I have the most beautiful woman sitting right here in front of me? Well, that's a very good question. I think I need to remind you of that. I think I need to remind you in a very special, specific way. It's time for dessert, so why don't we go home? Why don't I pay the check, and I'll meet you outside? Okay. <laughs> I know that look. What look? You have a dirty mind, you know that? I'm not thinking that. Yes, you are. I'm not. Then what? Yeah? I was thinking that soon we're going to have to go home and relieve the babysitter. Right. We will, but not anytime soon. As soon as those french fries are done, I'm gonna take that plate of hamburgers and go over the table and we'll just forget we had this conversation. And for your information, Mindy is the one who said I should go out with Cassie. Billy, if you weren't standing here making all these excuses, you wouldn't have a whole lot to say. So there's, um, that's Josh before our wedding. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at all that hair. I know. And, oh, this is Harlan. He doesn't have much, well, didn't have much hair. No. And that's Mara there with him. Look at the way she's looking at her granddaddy. Yeah, she loved him a lot. Well, gosh, I wish would. I wish I had some family pictures to look at, but then again, I wish I had a family. <laughs> so, no brothers or sisters, huh? No. No. Well, I guess then I should count my blessings because I have a brother and I have a sister, but for some reason, I still just don't feel complete. You know, I know I have another sister out there somewhere. And I'm going to find her. I'm not going to give up. I don't blame you. And good luck. Thanks. 
So, have you found anything out? What's going on? Well, I, uh, I hate talking about it because I'm so scared to death I'm going to jinx it. We've had so many setbacks with Annie Dutton and Alan Spaulding. Yeah, you mentioned that earlier. Yeah, and I really don't want them to know this either. What? Well, we've hired two really good private detectives. And I dream about it, you know? I just, I do. I dream about being able to put my sister's picture in here, right next to the rest of the family. Right, it was my mama's dying wish that I find my sister. Well, I hope it happens for you. I really hope it happens for you. Thanks. I'm not kidding. Jennifer! <laughs> I don't Annie, want to talk to you. Annie, no, listen. Oh, no. Annie, we cannot leave like this. It's time for you to go. No, I am not going to leave. I know that I hurt you. You say that a lot. I know. I just was trying to warn you about Philip. That's all. Okay, I'm officially warned about Philip. Now I'll scratch him off the list of my friends. That'll leave me with... That'll leave me with no one. Does that include me, too? No. But, Alan, you have to treat me with respect. Just because I'm locked up in this loony bin does not mean that I have lost it. <laughs> I know, I know you haven't. Look, Annie, I, I, I really, I really hate fighting with you. I do. I hate fighting with you, too. Now, look. I want you to get some sleep, all right? Please. We shook hands and we said, friends. And I know that Annie trusts me now. I know that I can get information from her. You're not listening to me. My father is going to blow your cover any minute. You're not listening to me. No, he won't. I'm a pro. Oh, you know what? At, at the risk of telling you how to do your job. Don't, If then. you would get off your high horse for just a second, G.I. Jane, you would realize that we would be much better served to go to Chicago and look through some strip clubs. Ha, well, I'm sure you'd have a good time with that. Oh, you know what? You know, you, you, are, you are the most stubborn, self-righteous, pig-headed, single-minded woman I have ever known in my life. You know that? Yeah, why don't you take a look in the mirror, all right? And we gotta get out of here because she's gonna be here any second. You know, you know, you know what? You know what? You know what I think we should do? Let me tell you what I think I should do. I gotta pick you up and throw you over my shoulder and carry your scrawny why little butt out of here. Why don't you just try I might, I might, I might. I can handle this. You know what? You are the most maddening woman I have ever known in my life. <sighs> oh. I'm only a few weeks pregnant. We don't need to decide anything tonight. Sounds like you've already made your decision. Think about what you said. I'll think about what you feel. I'll... I will re-examine my feelings. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. Well, then that'll just have to do. Dad, I want you to call Safe Tech, all right? Why don't you do that for me? There's a guy there. His name is Ray. Tell him Detective Cooper sent you. I guess Please. I'll assist him as soon as I can. I right? would feel so much better if we did that. All right. Please. Okay. Me too. Listen, um, these guys are going to stay here. Hopefully, they'll lift some more prints. But, but in the meantime, I'm going to head down to the station, see if there's a manufacturer for this baby. Hopefully, there's a local Please retailer where somebody could have gotten it from. Oh, this is, this is very unique. This is a, a custom shop. It's one of a kind, yes. Well, great. Hey, maybe next time someone will leave you diamonds. Watch it. Thanks, Here you go. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh.
Well, this is over. Never again. It's finished. What's finished? Um, your your shift. You know, you've been working way, way too much overtime, and I think, go on, go, go, go to the movies. Really? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, the dinner rush is almost finished, and I'm fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, Thanks, all right. I'm fine. Oh, I'll be fine. Oh, gosh. So, oh, well. Feeling okay? You barely touched your burger. You want to finish it? <laughs> no, no, I think two is definitely my limit. <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I, I just uh, think I'm a little tired. The last couple of days got to me. So, um, you better just call it even. Really? Really? It's still so early. Okay. I need my rest. I'll see you tomorrow at the office, huh? Yep. I love you. Good night, Cassie. Good night. Good night. Good night. Wow. So, what do you think's really going on between those two? I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> Cassie, huh? I'm sorry. For what? You don't have to make me feel better. I was there all evening. I know I wasn't good company. I'm sure you didn't have a good time. Well, speak for yourself, Billy, because I had a wonderful time. I'm not going to apologize for that. Well, I don't want you to. Okay. Thank you. I had a very nice day. Well. I can't imagine what is taking Jenna so long. I mean, if she and Harley have something on my sister, I want to know it tonight. Reva, haven't you learned yet that some of the best things in life are worth waiting for? I mean, take us. Nice try. <laughs> that it's a very good try. But I mean it. If they can't come up with something, I'm going to have to take this on myself. You know what? I am afraid that you are in a situation where you are going to end up getting hurt. And I care about you.